Hi everyone, and welcome back. We're exploring 4K displays today and bringing you the best possible visual experience. Get ready to discover the best choices for 2024 that revolutionize performance, color, and clarity. Samsung M70B. First up, we have the Samsung 32 M70B series 4K, which is our all-time favorite. This screen has everything you could possibly need. With this smart monitor, you can work, watch, and communicate without requiring a separate PC connection. With your favorite productivity, video call, and content apps all integrated in, your desk arrangement will always be easier to use and more elegant. The Smart Hub UX UI has been updated with features including TV+, OTT applications, AI upscaling, improved processing apps like Netflix, YouTube, and HBO, and greater brightness. Additionally, there are gaming and IoT hubs, multi-view smart things with multiple AOVs and FFV, as well as compatibility for Samsung SlimFit Cam and third-party cameras. With its tilt-capable SlimFit camera, you can set up the ideal angle for utilizing your preferred video chat applications, such Google Duo, which you can access straight from the display. Additionally, your privacy is always protected by the camera cover and totally detachable option. Likewise, by connecting your smart monitor to your smart things-enabled IoT home devices, you can use it as a control center for your entire house. Samsung Odyssey Arc 2nd Gen The second item on the list is the Samsung Odyssey Arc 2nd Gen. This 55-inch screen provides an image that overwhelms your senses, resulting in an adrenaline-fueled experience. And this is further enhanced by 1000R curvature to wrap around your field of vision for maximum immersion. With a refresh rate of 165Hz, latency is eliminated for incredibly fluid action. Additionally, with a one-miss response time, accurate mouse motions, blur-free frames, and reduced ghosting, you could detect opponents with expert accuracy. For the ideal screen setting, it enables the screen to be rotated to cockpit mode with HIAS, tilt, and pivot functions. Added to that, moving the mouse across all of your connected devices displays on a single screen to quickly operate a different device as possible while utilizing several PCs and the built-in apps on the Odyssey Arc with a single mouse and keyboard. Lastly, let's talk about the sound quality. It has two center woofers and four corner speakers that combine to provide a 60W 2.2.2 channel with the lowest 45Hz notes of any gaming soundbar or screen. AI Sound Booster and Dolby Atmos also surround you with a 3D soundscape. ViewSonic Elite XG321UG The ViewSonic Elite XG321UG is the next product in line. The XG321UG does not compromise on visual quality in any way. The IPS panel and the ASUS share the same mini LED 1152 zone lighting. Peak output in HDR mode is listed at 1400 nits. However, I used a window pattern to test nearly 1700 nits. That is quite intelligent. Because of its sophisticated backlight, which can turn off any portion of its 48 by 24 zone array, HDR contrast is over 70,000. One, a quantum dot film provides extended color, extending the color range much beyond DCI-P3 to 84.28% coverage of Rec 2020. Right out of the box, accuracy is guaranteed, and for SDR material, there's even an almost flawless sRGB mode. With a refresh rate of 144 Hz, G-Sync Ultimate compatibility, and FreeSync compatibility, gaming performance is exceptional as well. Previously, I had only seen NVIDIA's Reflex Latency Analyzer tool on 360Hz panels. The XG321UG is the only Ultra HD monitor I have tested with this capability. You can observe your precise control latency displayed in real time while playing games by attaching a compatible mouse to the specific green USB connection on the monitor. And for those that are interested in eSports, it's a useful tool and an excellent method to track performance. Sony InZone M9. The Sony InZone M9 4K comes next. A display for a computer made by Sony? There are plenty of aficionados who are too young to recall that. One of the most affordable 4K monitors with a full array local dimming LED backlight is the U27M90. It produces some incredible HDR contrast with 96 zones. My measurements show that in two of the image settings, the color gamut has outstanding accuracy, covering slightly less than 90% of DCI-P3. Additionally, I achieved excellent calibration of one of the game types. The natural contrast of the IPS screen is around 1000.1, which is normal for the genre. The processing of videos is similarly scrutinized. The DisplayPort 1.4 input can handle up to 144 Hz, while the two HDMI 2.1 connections can handle up to 120 Hz. My experiments also verified that G-Sync and FreeSync Premium Pro worked in both SDR and HDR modes. 
aiming crosshairs, timers, a frame rate clock, and an auto picture mode setting that detects the presence of a PS5 and automatically adjusts the game mode are among the gaming features. Compared to the other modes, it is said to have less input latency, and to handle several systems, such as a PC and a PS5, there is a KVM capability with USB-C and conventional USB connections, which is sufficient to accept different peripherals, such as controllers, mouse, and keyboards. HP Z32K G3 The HP Z32K G3 4K is next. Because of its excellent color coverage and accuracy, the HP Z32K G3 USB-C display is a productivity monitor with some artistic flair that can handle jobs like working with video and web-based art with ease. This is the first HP monitor to use IPS black, a kind of in-plane switching technology that renders far deeper blacks than conventional IPS, so practically doubling the contrast ratio. The Z32 KG3 boasts broad viewing angles, as is common of IPS panels, with a rating of up to 178 degrees for both vertical and horizontal viewing. This means that even when seen at extreme angles from the side or above, colors should remain generally true, free of shifting or posterization. The Z32K, like the Z27K G3, has an abundance of ports. Notably, the Z32K converts the USB-C port on the smaller monitor to Thunderbolt 4, which is a USB-C shaped connector that is compatible with all USB standards and Thunderbolt versions past. This connection can deliver up to 100 watts of power to a laptop and can transfer data from the computer at up to 40 GBps via DisplayPort over USB alternate mode. Asus ProArt Display PA32DC the last but certainly not least option is the Asus ProArt Display 31.5 4K. This PA32DC is a professional display in every way. It surpasses 100% coverage of DCI-P3, 111% was the test result I recorded, and it qualifies for Display HDR 400, making it one of the brighter OLEDs available in the computer genre. Yes, it lacks adaptive sync and refresh rates over 60Hz, so it won't be a top choice for gamers. However, it does have accurate color that can be consistently maintained over time. It includes Kohler modes for every standard currently in use. As well as, it has a built-in meter for auto calibration that motors down from the top bezel and interfaces with ASUS ProArt calibration software. Rec. 709, sRGB, Adobe RGB, DCI-P3 and Rec. 2020 are just a few of the color and dynamic range standards that are supported. Plus, there are three standards for HDR. HDR10, Hybrid Log Gamma, and Dolby Vision. For HDR10, the luminance curve may even be set to optimized, clip, or basic. HDR emulation option is also available for SDR material. And its video production aids include on-screen rulers and framing aids for movie and TV formats. That's all for now, folks. We really hope you liked our video. Hey, it's great to subscribe. So please click the bell symbol, like, and subscribe to get updates on our most current videos. Thank you for watching.